everybody, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yes, I just realized I forgot my water behind me. Yep, right there it is. So I'm going to go grab that and I'll be right back. Delicious. Now, I have two things of laundry here. I need to fold. Turn you around so you can see. This this one here, this tote, as well as this basket here. And I have like three laundry baskets out in the other room that need to be put away. So I'm going to get these folded and then I can just put all the clothes away before we have to do the laundry again. Which will probably be very soon because we go through laundry a lot. Yes, we do. So, yeah, we'll just sit here and fold laundry and chat because why not? Um, yeah, I was telling you how the box from the Keurig is going to be, I'll be putting like my Christmas presents in it that I make. And I did, I bought those little, um, what do you call them? The little loaf pans. And I'll show them to you. Grab them. These here, these little loaf pans I got from the Dollar Tree. They're really, really nice ceramic. And so I'm going to be giving these to my mommy for Christmas. So I'll put those in the box for safekeeping. And also those little perpetual calendars that I made. They're also going to be used for Christmas presents. I need to find out from my mommy. I had to re-glue this one because the um, fairies fell right off it. And so I had to take some E6000 to it. And now they're, they're on there good. And last year I also got her a perpetual calendar. And I didn't realize I was going to be starting her on a collecting perpetual calendars yeah it wasn't the plan but you know for a dollar 25 from dollar tree that's a steal and so i wanted to give her one of those yeah last year i bought her one from collections etc my, my mom loves black checkered decor and the one I found her was of black checkered decor. And so that is what I bought her. I also got her like this black checkered um, sled. But it's a shelf. It's really cute. And she just sent me a picture of it. She has, she has a, she finally got it together and has it hung up. And if I remember or if I can find the picture, I'll let it right here. You know, the good old movie magic. And je not Jelly Bean, but Maggie is laying in the chair. <laughs> and I was going to use that to put clothes on. Are you going to let me put clothes on there next to you, Maggie? Will you let me do that? Will you let me do that? Yeah. Are you pretty? And look at these paws. Look at how fluffy these paws are. She won't let me hold her paw. Yeah. You a fluffy paw, girl. You a fluffy paw, girl. Yeah, you are. So I'll just kind of throw them back in this basket. <laughs> throw them back in the basket and kind of dig around them. I can guarantee you if I had this basket on the floor, she would be inside it. Yes, she would. I don't know if I mentioned it to you. I might have in the video of when I did the perpetual calendars that I messed up. <laughs> and I had totally forgot that this part is supposed to be flush with the bottom so that it could stand up. And I do have like these little sticker tabs, which I'm hoping will be just the right size to put on the, like one on each side on the front so that it can stand up without it tilting. And if the tabs don't work, then I'll have to figure out something else. Yes, I will. Yeah, I'm putting clothes in the tote, but small things like underwear or washcloths, I'm putting in a pile here on the table. Yes, I am. But there's a couple other things. Now, I was doing the, um, 
in one of the videos, I think it was a Dollar Tree video, I was showing you some of the stuff I bought for future, um, for future DIYs. And one of the things I bought was, it was a, like a picture that had like words on it. And I plan on, you know, taking the picture off it and paint, or not painting it, but putting like this, uh, it's like wallpaper, but it looks like wood. But then I got to think, and I was like, you know how you get those um, cricket sheets, and they're pretty sticky, and they're shiny and glittery. <laughs> and I was like, I bet you it would look really pretty with one of those. You know, like do the background with like something glittery and shiny, like pink or rose gold, or and then you know paint the thing the little basket that I plan on putting on it white and I think that would be really pretty I really really do but you know if, if it's if it's a big old fail if it looks really dumb or something then I could just buy another one because they're really cheap and I do plan on buying more because I want their those are um <clears throat> part of me other Christmas presents I plan on making so of course I'm gonna do one for my mom and then um, whoever um, I have to buy for at the uh, the Christmas get-together with my brother I can't remember if we had we chose names or if we just bought for everybody I can't remember <laughs> Yeah, I think last year I, I bought for everybody, but I can't afford that this year. So I'm going to have a discussion with my mom about drawing names. And so that will save money. That will save the moolah. Yeah, my nephew, the one that used to live here, he has a baby now. Yes, he had a baby. And he was just born, I think he's like three months old now. So, I'm a great aunt. Yep, my mom, she's a great grandma. Yep, it's her first great grandchild. But doesn't that make you feel old? <laughs> I know it makes me feel old. The great aunt. But, yep. But he's the cutest little thing. And his girlfriend has two other kids. I'm, I know I told you last year. Which I will be buying for. Like I had really a lot of fun like buying them. One big gift from like Dollar General. And then I bought them like ten small things from the Dollar Tree. And then I just put it all into a gift bag for him. And I think I'm going to do that again. Yeah. This, this year, though, I won't buy the little girl. I think, I think her name's Sophia. I won't buy her clothes because I think she would prefer a toy. <laughs> I know I did when I was a kid. I, I hated receiving clothes as a kid. Now I love it. It's like, hand me the clothes. <clears throat> I don't want anything but clothes. <laughs> but, yeah. Getting to the bottom of this one anyways. Checking the time. It's only nine minutes in. We're making good time. Oh, I ripped my nails off and butchered my nails. I don't think I even mentioned it yet. I don't know if you noticed. But the um the gel nails they're like growing out and they're looking really crappy. <laughs> and so I took my metal file and just like got right up underneath them and just pried them off, which my long nails here, they're like really long. It just ripped the nail right off with it. <laughs> it didn't like hurt me or anything. It just ripped the, you know, the, the nail off. And so, oh, that's heavy. <clears throat> okay. No, we're on the second basket. So, 
I went out, I was at Walmart, and I noticed they had, like, the Halloween nails out. And I think I did at least one video when I was wearing them. But I decided I wanted to put new nails on. Which I'm going to do a video putting on the nails. They're like a candy corn kind of decoration kind of thing. <laughs> so cute. I went with the kitty ones first because there was like one. The first, I bought two of them because I couldn't pick between the two because they're just both so cute. Yep. Yeah. I put the basket on the floor and the first thing Maggie does is get in it. There she is, a little pookie butt. But, <laughs> yeah. Now she's out of the chair, so I guess I could put the laundry in the chair. Watch her now want to get in the chair because I'm putting clothes in the chair. Because she's a pookie. You're pretty pookie, though, aren't you? You're my baby. But what was I talking about? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, I was talking about my nails. Yeah, I think in a, the ones, that, the other ones I got had like a little black kitty on the pinky, and then the this finger was like all sparkly, and they were purple, a dark purple. I wish they were a lighter purple, but for Halloween, I guess dark purple is the color. But yeah, I wanted that kitty nail, and so that's why I bought them, and I wore them for about a week, and they're really they held really well, and they had they have like these tabs on it. You'll see in the video when I put on the new ones. But I use the tabs and then I also use glue, nail glue, to make sure that they were on and they weren't coming off. And they didn't either. I had to pry those babies off. Because I wanted to change up my nail look and <laughs> destroyed my nails even more. Yeah, I did. I was like ripping them off my nails taking the bed of my nails with it. <laughs> yep, that's what I do. They'll eventually heal. Yeah, I was gonna do a video with this shirt on, but it's been worn and washed, worn and washed, and it's faded. It's, it's one of the Terra Skies I bought from um, Walmart, and I was gonna do a video of wearing it, but uh, I think it's also shrunk. It's like really short. <laughs> Yeah, this doesn't even cover my belly. It is short now. I'll have to bring it in so it could fit Josie because, you know, it would still fit me. It would just be incredibly short. So it is a Josie shirt. I just need to... Well, actually, would it be... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's even worth trying to sew it so it will fit her better. Yeah, Maggie's made herself comfy in those clothes. Yeah, I've been thinking on going back into the cat lady box because I miss getting the, the cute stuff they would send me. And the shirts, you know, they're perfect size for Josie. And they would, they, oh, they always send some really cute stuff. And so that is what I was hoping. Because I miss getting it. I did subscribe to, um, boxy charm again i'm not sure how long i'll keep it and also to a subscription box that comes with like snacks and as i told you in a previous video as well as the munchie box video itself that um piece of fuzzy that uh, Snack Nation no longer does the dollar box. Because that was the one I was hoping to get. I mean, you can still get snack boxes from them. But they're normal, you know, priced ones and stuff. And their treats, snacks aren't that great. I didn't really care for any of them. <laughs> and that's why it was worth this, you know, $6.99 that I would pay. And, uh... And then you would just like do a survey every month to keep the price. The box itself is like a dollar and then you paid like four ninety nine for the shipping and handling. So altogether it was like six ninety nine, which I didn't think was a bad price at all. But sadly, 
they stopped doing it. I'm not sure how long ago they stopped doing it. Maybe those that had a subscription, maybe they still can, they still get it. But those who canceled can't redo it. Cause I tried. It's nowhere to be found. Nope. But yeah, as I was saying, I've got, um, but yeah, I ripped off the fake nails. I have like the glue still on here and stuff. And yeah, that glue did not want to come off. I had to pry the fake nails off as well. The ones that were just on with the tab and this um, nail glue, those tabs held those nails very well, yes. I probably, if I hadn't ripped them all off, I'd probably be still wearing them for like another week or so without any issues of them coming off. But like I said, we're going to put on another pair, which are candy corn themed. And I love me some candy corn themed things. For Halloween, I like the candy corn. And for Christmas, I love gingerbread and uh, candy canes. Those are my things. Those are what I love. I don't know if there's another Halloween thing I like. I like ghosts. Yeah, I like ghosts and candy corn. And uh, I did buy a few things. I didn't buy a lot. Not enough to, you know, do a full haul video. But I did do... I did go there and buy a few things. The main reason I w had gone there was because I wanted to get some crayons. Because I need crayons to um, add to like the white wax to make the colors that I want. But my honey was actually reading about it and he was telling me that using a crayon will make the candles go out. And they won't like burn you know all the way through so he was looking up different you know things to use to make the colors and you know, he was saying you know you could just use eyeshadow or you could use uh, don't use food coloring but you could use like spices like paprika or something to make it brown or orange or whatever color paprika is But, yeah, I'll have to research it because I don't want to make a candle that you light it and then it just goes out. Because that would suck. That would suck a lot. Or maybe, like, get a, um, like a, a melt, a wax melt. I wonder if that would work in uh, keeping it lit so it doesn't go out after a while. <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to research it because I, I don't want to ruin the candle by doing it wrong. Even though the video showed them using crayons to make the colors, I thought that's that's all I would have to do is buy some crayons. Yeah, I'm running out of room, so I'm going to have to move the clothes over so I can get to the few that are left. Well more than a few. These clothes have been sitting in that basket to be folded for a while, about a week, and now they're all wrinkled. So I gotta make sure they're not wrinkled when I fold them so that the wrinkles will go out when they're sitting with other clothes on top of them to squish it down to make them not wrinkly. Every once in a while I'll get like a phantom toothache I mean, I'm not sure if that's what it is, but it'll be like right here and my my jaw, like a phantom toothache, and it'll go right up into my ear. And I'm mentioning it now because it's happening now. <laughs> it just started out of the blue. It doesn't let, stay for long, luckily. It goes away. But I don't know what I don't know what causes it. It's weird. Not the first time it's happened. I'm sure it won't be the last. 
I think I have like six things left. I think the majority of it's underwear. Oh, maybe one shirt. <clears throat> it's a dingy shirt. It used to be white. It's probably going to need to be bleached to get maybe it's like looks gray now. Oh, this is a shirt my mom made for Josie for Christmas with her cricket. I have a cricket and eventually I will learn to use it. <laughs> eventually, I'm trying to get it so you can see the see what my mom put on it. Yeah, and she made one for me too. It has like a patch here of R2D2. And then it has a picture of Maggie on it. And I think it says my baby or something like that. Yeah, it is adorable. Oh, the pokey fell asleep. She's a tired little baby. She's so cute. Where are we at? 22 minutes. Oh, I am almost done doing the laundry, so I think we'll have time to finish this before it hits the 30 mark. These are my big old fat underwear. I fold them differently than I fold Josie's tiny underwear. And Josie's out of school. I'm not sure if you, you know that, if I told you. She is out of school now. She's 21. Well, she's 22 now. She turned 22 this month. And I did videotape her opening her presents. I need to post that so you can see it. I do, I do, I do. And I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot that I had that. And also her present from Mary is on that video. Okay, my hands don't like to work, so I have to use both hands to lift up clothes to put them in here. There. Okay, that's it. That is all the laundry. You're so pretty. I love you. I'm going to stop hiccuping long enough. Long enough to put a closing on this video. But don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here you'll see my little face. You can click on it if you would like to subscribe. Up here will be a playlist of something similar to what you just watched. Here will be a video that YouTube thinks you will enjoy if you hadn't seen it yet. But again, thank you so very much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye. Jessie.